a lot of these um, interviews that we've done, the uh, the clients, the accused, you know, don't make enough noise. And it sounds like you were trying to make the noise. You were trying to notify the judge and anybody who'd listen that this isn't right. Your counsel's bad. Um, yeah. we're, we're, we're about to get railroaded here and nobody would listen to your pleas. Yeah. Yeah. I it's, bet, it's, man. I have tons. I have stacks, man. Like actually letters, like begging, like, listen, man, like, look at this case. Like what the, like just pay attention to it. Like all the, all anybody had to do was just pay attention to it. It wasn't like it was nothing like this was really something like they really going to get this off. Like they really snuck and got this off. A two day double murder trial with acts with one witness, with one lady that just come in there high and everything. Like she didn't even have no regard for the courtroom when she came in there. You know, they had her in the hotel for two days. Like, <laughs> probably, like sure, so, we, probably, they, they, probably so she wouldn't drink and use crack. <laughs> yeah, and then, right? And then they asked her, like, yeah, yeah, they went over the story with her. You know, they went over the maps and all this. And she still got in there and didn't remember anything. So it wasn't even like she was a good witness when she got up. But the thing is, like, like you said, how can the jury convict, still convict you? So that's the that's the that's the part that puzzles me, like, like how that's how how could they take you and put you in front of those people, you know, and how could those people convict you like that? 